All right, so the neuron cell body, we got the nucleus, and all the little blue spots in here are the missile bodies. Little black lines there are the neurofibrils. What black lines? Little black oh, lines right inside there. Okay. All right, and all these little porcupine looking things on the back here are the dendrites taking the incoming calls to the neuron. Can you point to them again? Yeah, all these little porcupine little spines here, dendrites. The orange ones? Mm -mm, the orange ones are the axon terminals okay. that are delivering a message from other neurons to this neuron. Okay. Then you have the axon hillock, which is the first part of the axon. It runs all the way down there. Okay, so this axon is going to take the message from these axons from other neurons and send it on to the next place. Okay. So we get over here. Each of these is a Schwann cell. You have the nucleus of the Schwann cell. This is the myelin sheath, the ridgy part there. And then in between each Schwann cell is a node of Ranvier. And then you have to know the mitochondria also. Okay, and then the little pink things where the nucleus. Are you talking about those? No. Um, oh, that's oh, the oh, nucleus oh. of the Schwann cell. Okay, that's what I thought you said. I just wanted to be sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so the spinal cord model. Start up front, the anterior median fissure, big line there. In the back, the posterior median sulcus. All the white matter around here will be your funiculi, or funiculus for singular. Right, so if you look at the gray matter here, the posterior horns, and the lateral horns, the bumps on the side, and the anterior horns. And the communicating part is the gray commissure. And the little spot in the middle is the central canal. So up here we're going to have ventral roots and dorsal roots in the back. And dorsal roots, their cell bodies come down here to make up the dorsal root ganglion, big bump. And all these roots will come together to make a spinal nerve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you had the cerebrum, the main part of the brain, and back here the cerebellum. <clears throat> so you had the longitudinal fissure, big line down the middle, and then the transverse fissure separating the cerebrum and cerebellum. And then the raised areas are the gyri or gyrus for singular, and then the sunken sulcus. All the little sunken areas are the sulcus or sulci. If you want to do plural. All right, and then the lobes, you got the frontal lobe and the parietal lobes. Back here, the occipital lobes. And then on the sides, the temporal lobes. Okay, both sides. All right, so if you open it up, <clears throat> main thing you see there is the corpus callosum. And beneath that, you would have the lateral ventricle or the septum pellucidum if there's a membrane covering it. All right, and moving down, now we're going to be at the thalamus, the structure here. And then the little spot in the middle there is the intermediate mass of the thalamus. Right, below that would be the hypothalamus. <clears throat> if we move down to the bottom side here, we have the olfactory nerve, cranial nerve number one, and the optic nerve, cranial nerve number two. And this part where it comes back, where it would cross over, is the optic chiasma. All right, so coming down from the hypothalamus, you have the infundibulum that holds the pituitary gland. And behind that, the bump there is the mammillary body. All right, so if you start moving down the brain stem, the bump here is the pons, and then all the rest of this is the medulla oblongata until you get to the spinal cord. All right, so coming back up this way, remember the outside is cerebellum, the inside is arbor vitae. And at the bottom of the arbor vitae is the fourth ventricle, and then this line going down here to the fourth ventricle from the third is the cerebral aqueduct. Can you say back, back up like two? Fourth ventricle, arbor vitae? Yes, north ventricle and then the heart vitae. Yeah, arbor vitae. And at the bottom, the fourth ventricle. Okay. And then moving up from that fourth ventricle, we would have the little line there, the cerebral aqueduct. The roof of the cerebral aqueduct there is the half of the corpora quadrigemina. Okay. And so above that would be the pineal body. And then we're back around to where we started at the corpus callosum. Okay. Where's the pineal body? Got this little bump thing down here. The white bump thing? Yep. 23? Yeah, should. Okay. So the lateral ventricles, and then the middle part here is the third ventricle. This would be the hypothalamus, and the little eye hole would be the intermediate mass of the thalamus. The little stem coming down is cerebral aqueduct, and then the fourth ventricle at the bottom. Can you turn it to the stem coming down again? The oh, yeah, right there. Stem, cerebral okay. aqueduct, and fourth ventricle. Okay. okay. So our spinal nerves, you have eight, 12, and five, the eight cervical, 12 thoracic, five lumbar. 
So all you have to do is count down to a little piece of tape here. So it would be T10 if I counted correctly. So your T10's final nerve would be the answer for that one. Okay. Any more than that? Okay, come on. Okay. okay. Alright, so the oracle or the penna, here the external auditory meatus or external acoustic meatus, both are correct, then the auditory tube. And what would sit right up in here is the tympanic membrane. Right. So that's the tympanic membrane. On the back is connected to the malleus. The malleus is connected to the incus. And then that attaches to the stapes, a little stirrup-shaped bone that sits on the oval window. So the middle part here is the vestibule. This part is the semicircular canals. And then the snail shell is the cochlea. And then the big feature of the vestibule is the round window. Okay. And then the nerve you'll have to know here is the vestibular cochlear nerve, cranial nerve number eight. For the eye model, I'll, I'll start with the muscles. Uh, the superior rectus and inferior rectus. And then this points to the nose, so this is the medial rectus. And this side is the lateral rectus. And this that's pointing to the nose is the superior oblique. And then hanging down off the side is the inferior oblique. Okay. All of the white on the outside is the sclera. And the clear part you see out front, the cornea. Right. The colored part underneath is the iris and the hole is the pupil. Right. Take that apart, then you'll see the choroid, the dark air layer beneath the sclera. And, yeah, there we go. Pull that apart. So inside, you're going to have the ciliary body. And then the innermost layer is the retina. And the retina will attach to the optic disc, which becomes the optic nerve. Then back here behind the pupil, we have the lens, and this would be the vitreous body, vitreous humor, and that sits in the posterior compartment or cavity. Okay. And the anterior cavity is everything in front of the lens to the cornea.